Hello everybody. In today's video I will show you how to use a REST client directly in VS Code. For this click on the extension icon and type in REST. First result is the REST client. We see some downloads and a very good rating. We click on install and we see in the description some info how to check APIs. So let's close this tab and we go back and we open a new text file. Click here and open file and I open the file restapi.http and now we can check some APIs. I use the Rapid API website which I have used for some of my videos before. I use the Airport Info API for the GET request and the AI Bit Translator for the POST request example. So let's click on the Airport Info. We see all what we need. We need an API endpoint, the URL. Then we need two header parameters, the API key and the API host and an optional parameter IATA. So with this information we can go back to the VS code and here we type in get then we paste the API endpoint and we paste the or we pass the two header parameters API key and API host. After that we click on right mouse click and send request and we see we get and we got a response but with an error because we have no airport code provided. So let's do this at the end of the URL, the IATA parameter, for example VIE for Vienna. So we send the request and we see we have a response here. Okay, that works pretty nice. So let's check it with another code, LAX. Los Angeles works as well. Next, we uh, do a post request with the AI bit translator API. Here again, some parameters, RP endpoint, some headers and so on. So we go back to the uh, VS code, we type here post, then we paste the API endpoint, then the, we can copy the API key from above, and we pass here the API host, now it's the AI bit translator host. Then we need content type is application form URL encoded and now we pass the parameters from is DE for German to EN for English and last the text. For example I write here Willkommen auf meinem YouTube Kanal in German and now let's send the request. Okay we have a bad request here why? Okay, we need a valid value. So I think there is a blank here. Okay, so let's uh, delete the blanks and send the request again. And now we, we have an, an uh, response. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's try the JSON call as well. We see here the one of the parameters is now not text. Instead, it's a JSON. And for this we can um, copy the, the link except uh, with the text. So we type here JSON. This is the JSON endpoint. Then we can copy the content type and the two header parameters. And we write again from is DE for German to English. And now we pass it JSON. So brackets. And I write here title, the German text, Willkommen auf meinem YouTube Kanal, and the author. 
Just encode. Okay, the brackets is closed and now let's uh, send the request. And we see we have an response. Welcome to my YouTube channel and cast encode as author. Okay, another nice feature is we can generate code snippets here in different languages. For example, we check jQuery and we see here generated code in jQuery. Pretty nice. Yes, we can do this with different languages and so on. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please leave me a like or subscribe to my channel for more content. Write me something in the comments. I'm always happy to read from you. Take care and see you soon.